Hi, I'm Danny Jha, and I'm presenting Mastering Atari with Discrete World Models. World Models are abstract descriptions of how an environment works that are learned from experience. They allow agents to predict future outcomes to enable planning. They help learn compact representations of high-dimensional inputs such as images. And they can aggregate information over time to learn Markovian states in partially observed environments. World Models enable many applications, including exploring the world by planning for expected surprise rather than maximizing retrospective surprise. They improve generalization to learn from less experience and from fixed datasets, such as in offline reinforcement learning. And once learned, they can be used to solve many new tasks with no or little additional environment interaction. But learning accurate world models has been a big challenge. Today, we introduce Dreamer v2, the first agent based on a world model that is accurate enough to enable human-level performance on the competitive benchmark of 55 Atari tasks. Dreamer v2 substantially improves over previous world models shown in red, using two ideas vectors of categorical representations, and KL balancing. It also outperforms top single GPU agents without world models, shown in blue, using the same computation time. Dreamer v2 supports both discrete and continuous actions, and it learns general representations from images without having to rely on reward gradients for representation learning. At a high level, Dreamer v2 consists of the following steps. At every time step, the world model integrates the next input image into the compact representation of the agent. An actor-critic algorithm receives this representation to produce an action. The action is sent to the environment and the experience is stored in the agent's dataset. Then the world model is trained from this dataset of past experience, and the actor-critic behavior is trained from trajectories predicted using the world model in its compact representation space. For learning the world model, Dreamer v2 builds on top of the recurrent state space model, or RSSM. This consists of a recurrent neural network that receives actions and stochastic image embeddings at every time step. The stochasticity makes the model more robust to unseen inputs. At every time step, the recurrent neural network also tries to predict the next image embedding without actually seeing the image. This enables planning without generating images. Dreamer v2 improves over RSSM using two techniques, vectors of categorical representations and KL balancing. As we said, the world model tries to predict its next image representations. Previous world models often use Gaussian representations. Because there are multiple possible next images, the ideal prediction would be a mixture of multiple Gaussians. But a Gaussian predictor is not flexible enough to learn such a distribution. Categorical representations don't have this problem. A mixture of categorical image representations is again a categorical variable, and a categorical predictor can match that accurately. To backpropagate through the categorical representations, we use straight-through gradients. We found these to work really well, they have no hyperparameters, and they are easy to implement using autodiff frameworks. The training objective of the world model contains a KL regularizer that brings the image representations and their predictions closer together. This has two purposes. First, it regularizes the representations to not contain more information than necessary. And second, it trains the predictor. But learning the predictor is hard, and we should not regularize our representations to be close to a poorly trained predictor. Therefore, we use a larger learning rate for the predictor than for the representations. This is also easy to implement using auditive frameworks, and it is different and orthogonal to beta variational autoencoders. Here are some video predictions produced by the world model. These confirm that the world models learn to reflect the environments accurately. The top row shows holdout trajectories, and the bottom row shows multi-step predictions by the model, without receiving intermediate inputs. Given the world model, we want to derive behaviors from it. For that, we learn an actor-critic algorithm from trajectories imagined using the world model. During the 200 million environment steps of an Atari game, Dreamer v2 imagines almost 500 billion steps using the world model. This is possible because of the compact representations that allow predicting thousands of trajectories in parallel using a large batch size. A critic network then learns to predict the rewards beyond the planning horizon using temporal difference learning. And an actor network learns to choose actions that maximize the imagined rewards and values, either through reinforced gradients or by directly backpropagating through the imagined trajectories using straight-through backpropagation. We evaluate Dreamer v2 on the standard benchmark of 55 Atari games, trained for 200 million frames each, where it outperforms top single GPU agents using the same computational budget. There exist different ways to aggregate scores across the games in the literature. The score of each game is usually normalized so that 0 corresponds to random actions and 1 corresponds to the performance of a human gamer, and then the median over tasks is reported. But the median ignores all the hard games. On the other hand, the mean over tasks is dominated by a small number of games where the random and human performance lie very close together. To overcome these limitations, we suggest to normalize the score of each game using the human world record, which is close to the optimal performance on many of the games, and then clipping the score to not exceed the record, so that games where superhuman performance is easy don't end up dominating the final score. We can then safely report the mean over all tasks and get a balanced and robust measure of performance. To understand which components of Dreamer v2 are important, we conduct an ablation study, 
And we find that categorical latents and KL balancing both substantially improve the world model. Moreover, we find that the world model completely relies on image gradients for learning its representations and the reward gradients are not needed, suggesting that the world model learns general representations that could be useful for other tasks as well. Dreamer v2 is also applicable to continuous control tasks. The agent is able to learn an accurate world model of the complex humanoid environment only from pixel inputs without proprioceptive information that is accurate enough to solve the stand-up and walking tasks. The video here shows exactly what the agent sees. If you're interested in world models, then check out our project website, danija.com slash dreamerv2, to find the research paper, an animated blog post, and our open source code. Thank you.